here on a stage like this, if you get caught by one of those up bears or the mallet right on the side of the stage, it's gonna go ahead and find the ring out. Hello, I'm the Purple Sharpie, and you're watching the Multiverses Pro Player Showcase. Multiverses is an all new free to play platform fighter featuring team based 2v2 matchups and an ever expanding iconic roster of characters using teamwork and strategy unlike any other. Developed by Player First Games, Multiverses will be released on PlayStation, Xbox, and PC with full cross play support. Today, well known platform fighters and fighting game players will be competing in a best of five 2v2 match. With dedicated server-based rollback netcode, these matches will be a fantastic display of all looking to get a glimpse of insane multiverses action. To call all the action with me, let me bring in my fellow caster and good friend, Ajax. I am so excited to talk about multiverses. We get to finally bring some action from this pro player showcase. It is going to be a 2v2 style format, which is going to be utilizing the perk system. The perk system allows you to change the style of the characters that you have, whether it be the offense, the utility, or the defense. And every character has their own unique perks as well. We're gonna see a lot of that when the match begins. And there is also a shared lives attached to this. So when you are playing in 2v2s, you have to be very careful about when you are working with your teammate because there are four lives in total and they are shared amongst the two of you and if you're not paying attention you might end up having one person lose all four it is going to be crucial that your team communication is on point and that you are working together the whole time i can't wait for us to go ahead and see this action now I believe the final thing is that all of these different archetypes inside of these characters are incredibly important. We have assassins, we have bruisers, we have supports, and we have mages. Do you have any specific characters that you're really looking forward to seeing today, Ajax? I'm very much looking forward for ones who may be just potentially Batman, but also a whole lot of support strength from these characters like Steven Universe and something that seems like a support but is really solid at being a damage dealer as well, the mage archetype class, Bugs Bunny, and of course the tank Wonder Woman. We have so much potential we're going to get to show off here today for everyone to see amongst all these different archetypes. Well, let's not keep the people waiting. I believe we have a match showcased here. Light and Esam will be on one team. MVD and Lord Knight will be on the other. Let's see some amazing versus play. Let's take a look, a close look at these perks. Here's the perk system, everyone. You're looking at uh, ESAM hovering over tune elasticity, which reduces ground knockback based off of when you get sent into a wall or, an, or on the ground. So if anybody ever sends Batman into one of his shields, it's going to reduce that by 20%. And then amongst the other ones, you saw that he has Coffeezilla. Coffeezilla is reducing the overall time that it takes to get those moves back the special moves which we see on two of them both batman and steven universe so that's going to reduce it by 12 percent instead because the perks do stack on top of each other and then the last one the aerial drift control coming in from steven universe is going to allow him more aerial mobility while he's in the air and then batman has two debuffs the fire Prepare debuff and the lightning yourself. debuff which increase hit stun off of projectile and gives you damage over time from the fire debuff cannot wait to see how this goes between these two teams now I want to point out a very important perk that the red team, MVD, and it appears as though Lord Knights both had there, which was the triple jump perk, allocating mm -hmm. each player an additional jump because it was stacked upon. Very important, especially on a stage like this. Exactly. It allows you easier times to not only get back to the stage, but also to chase your opponent as you see. Right now, Light is doing that over on the side. He's going to be using that Batarang as often as possible, not only to get the debuffs, but to be able to get the additional damage. And we just saw an amazing option from the Steven. What just happened, Sharpie? That was an amazing tether exploding, actually procking the Rose debuff on both. And they also had the immediate up charge just from that recoil. Absolutely crazy. A large amount of damage coming down and no kills yet from the blue side, but the red team was able to secure a kill there. Yeah, these KOs are so consistent on the side of the red team as well because of things like that rocket, because of things like Arya, where she can find you and get those ring outs very quick. Almost getting sent out to the top right there as we see Batman coming in, trying to find that uppercut to find the KO, find that up special to close things out. There comes the double down neutral attack to get it. You can charge that move as well to find the KO and get 
them back into the game. Oh, wow. That Steven Tether resulted in a ring out right there. Very quick and easy. Bugs coming back in at 0%, but wow, what a KO, honestly. Aria one hit away from a bubble right now. Deep Rock does go through, and that cleanse was just so nice and easy. Now, Batman's really trying just to stay out of the air here. Absolutely, absolutely just trying to work with that watermelon Steven, which unfortunately isn't doing very much right now. Knocked off the yeah, stage. Gets, <laughs> gets sent away immediately. And now there's that uh, that debuff you're talking about. Two debuffs Ooh. on both of them. And five stacks of that debuff leads to a bubble. Wow. Whenever Steven Universe gets that on, that's free damage coming in. But 119 damage on the side of Batman, especially here on a stage like this. If you get caught by one of those up bears from uh, Bugs Bunny, which is that bat or the mallet right on the side of the stage, it's going to go ahead and find the ring out. Now, that was an amazing use of Steven Universe's prop right there. One of Steven's passive is that when he dodges, it actually creates a shield on him and his ally that acts as an armor, but that armor is shared. And what we saw right there was Batman immediately, I'm sorry, actually Bugs going up to hit him and completely ignoring that hit just because of that armor. Beautiful and speaking amount. of armor, Arya has the ability to always set a move to an armor break. You'll see the purple sparks on a move. That indicates that that move can, in fact, do an armor break or an armor debuff. Those armor debuffs increased knockback taken and it allows you to get through stacks of armor that somebody may have placed on like a Wonder Woman. That's safe as well if you break that safe from Bugs Bunny it will drop an item onto the stage that can be used by both players as you see Bugs going straight under the stage to get out of that situation as quickly as possible. Now this is really a testament I feel to Bugs' general horizontal strength because my gosh is he not doing amazing things with these up specials. Yeah we see an up, uh, up neutral attack right there coming in from Steven Universe as well great knockback on that move now coming in with the side air to close out the uh close out the life right there on aria three lives a piece taken and the final one taken there on the red team gonna get the ring out and go ahead and take that first game on the side of mvd and lord knight what an amazing showing from MVD and Lord Knight there. Now, I really just want to kind of call out something that I think MVD did incredibly well and something that you kind of noted we may see coming out from Bugs. Some of those projectile control, absolutely insane, absolutely crazy. And I really feel as though that triple jump allowed Bugs to kind of just traverse around the entirety of the screen without very much care as to how many jumps or how many different types of recovery Bugs had left. Absolutely, we saw those four ring outs on the side of Bugs Bunny because of the fact that every time there was a projectile hit that was lined up, it was there and ready to find the ring out off the top. Or you saw Lord Knight sending in with one of those ciders, with one of those very quick strings that Arya has access to, to send them that way as well. And something to keep very close eye on when we're talking about the perks of the blue team, the red team as well, when you have Arya who uses the wounded perk, enemies that get stuck by this perk will get increased stun debuff when they're knocked back so it allows consistent follow-ups it's much better as you use that move but when you get stuck by that knife it allows Arya to instantly teleport to that opponent so you have to watch out at all times and if you're not careful MVD is going to be there and ready to find that ring out off the top with that bat now, one of the things I would like to see in this upcoming match that I feel as though Lord Knight could probably excel at is one of the really amazing things that Arya has as a passive is that when she does actually ring out an enemy, she spawns a pie that both heals and debuffs her enemies, meaning that it will heal her, but debuff and put a slow debuff on her enemies. Absolutely amazing. In addition to also giving her a rage debuff as well. So I'm very, very excited to see that. And something very similar to that too, you have Batman who has the smoke bomb. If Batman gets anybody within the smoke bomb on the other team, they get slowed and any moves that happen while Batman is invisible will lead to an armor debuff as well. When you get five stacks of that, it, redu it increases knockback on the opponent. We're seeing a double up here on Lord Knight, but as MVD came back in, a uh, light was instantly there to go ahead and answer that and to try and back him off. Now, I really have to say I'm absolutely loving Esam's setup here, using Watermelon Steven to kind of get that tether whenever you need be. Absolutely love that. Woo! Really good tether, really good tether as well. That was so amazingly played right there. Bond the blue team, you saw how Light had him in a couple of the jab strings to set him into a combo. And then after he got knocked up, you saw Esam instantly go for the tether to try and find the up special, using that shield to find a KO off the top. Still no KOs happening here. All the ringouts, almost two of them right there. Wow, amazing ring out there by Ezam. Just a, a very, very stellar up move to go ahead and get that KO. 
And now what are you doing here on the side of Red Team? You want to go ahead and answer right back. You see 117 damage on the side of Steven. Wow. And that's exactly what you do. You see the burrow coming in from Bugs Bunny. Found his way all the way underneath. Whoa. And also found himself exiting the building immediately. Answered right back from the blue team. That looked like an amazing battering that we were kind of talking about before there, Ajax. Exactly. You want to use those batterings to set up team combos. As the battering comes back in, not only does it give a debuff from the additional damage you take from that fire, but also the ability to combo is so consistent. But these burrows coming in from Bugs Bunny, finding his way under the stage, consistently getting in, using that as a great option to go ahead and get up close and personal. Oh, wow. We're at a point right now where Blue Team is literally one ring out away from victory. Uh, Lord Knight at 55%, NVD at now 8 100%! Oh my god, all it's gonna take is literally one tether to go ahead and secure this right now this for Blue Team. Yet. Great job on the red team finding that up here from Aria that has multi-hits and it's very easy to find it. Now what was what you just saw to Aria a second ago, that spin is when the knife is on a debuff. As you can see, underneath Steven Universe, there is a cooldown for your specials in this game. Not every single move is a cooldown based move, but you have to keep an eye on that. And if you pay close attention to when uh, Batman says, I cannot use that yet, that is when the Batarang is currently broken or the Bat Bomb is not available. You will have to listen to those sound cues as well, and you have to listen to that victory go off as we see Batman go ahead and find that Batarang and getting that spike at the bottom of the stage. And now we're at one apiece. Amazing, amazing play there from both Esam and Light inside of there. We can even see that it appears as though Light did the brunt of that work inside of that setup, having 409 damage going exclusively to Batman. What a crazy display there. And what was beautiful about that too is even with that 409 damage, the consistency of finding those hits with Batarang and the speed of Batman, it was the Steven who had three ring outs. You want to work with your teammate to set those up. Every time that you saw Light get a quick string and put him in the air, you saw the tether coming in from Esam to get that explosion, to get that knockout off the top. It was very well executed. I'm curious to see what the changeups will be here on the side of MVD and Lord Knight to answer that back. Now, one of the things I do want to shout out that Esam did incredibly well inside of that specific matchup was I noticed that whenever he was putting down Watermelon Steven, there was a healing AoE effect that actually affected not only him, but also Batman, meaning that they mm -hmm. could go ahead and soak up that much more damage. Now, inside of a Bugs match, where you specifically have to worry about projectiles coming and very possibly knocking off the stage at higher percentages, that heal is going to go a very long way. In addition, the cleanse aspect of putting down Watermelon Steven helps so much so that you don't have to necessarily worry about Arya's backstab procs. Very, exactly. very useful. Something I also notice as well is usually when you see someone like an Arya or a Harley Quinn, when they're playing, they like to use the perk that increases vertical damage off of things like your up airs. But when you look at that perk lineup, both players are using all the three of the same, which allows double stacking. So it gives Bugs Bunny the ability to get all of the tools back quicker, have greater aerial movement, and the triple jump. So it allows Lord Knight to, instead of trying being the person who gets the KOs, allowing them to set up for MVD to find them as well. For sure. Oh, and oh no, it looks like Steven's in a rough spot right now because of that shield. Luckily, it's gone now, so they have a bit more space to work with. And Light's just trying his best to get back on stage and kind of put out some damage himself. Oh, and not paying attention to the Looney Tune himself, the Acme Rocket finding his way back down. That move will come back around the time that it's getting ready to finish its cooldown, but you may forget about it for a while because it takes a long time to find its way back down. That was so well played, and now the red team gets another up air off of Bugs Bunny and gets two lives in the lead. Lord Knight going ahead and putting out some real damage on Watermelon Steven, trying to get him out of the fight. And MVD just doing amazing things with projectiles, trying to keep Steven out of the fight and focus on Batman here. And doing exactly that, and not only that, but taking him out. And you see, 38 damage, almost getting knocked out off the top, but they finally get a point on the side of the blue team. There comes that side there. That shield is going to take out the Aria. The blue team can very much show get back into this game if they could get some coordinated 2v1s as they're doing right now. Now, there's a lot of attack decay coming down from Steven, meaning that it, Steven Universe is actually using a similar attack over and over again, resulting in that attack not only doing less damage, but also resulting in less knockback from that damage. It's very important, especially inside of multiverses, to divvy up the games that you use. But it ultimately won't matter in this instance because another win goes over to MVD and Lord Knight inside of this game.
Ajax. And that was very good recognition from MVD at that point because you saw the side air come out from Steven Universe, which stopped the startup of the up special, which is that rocket. Normally, that would lead to a very long cooldown, but because that got hit at the very startup before the rocket was able to be sent off, you can use it again. So as soon as MVD recognized that, he saw light was flying above him and unfortunately got sent straight to the ceiling and knocked out of his own back game. Now, I'm really interested in exactly what type of teamwork was going on inside that very last match. I would absolutely love to hear from the players, and I think we're actually going to throw over to the players and kind of listen in on some of the teamwork that may be going on from the blue side. <sighs> that one was hectic, and a lot of the other times the hecticness would help us, but MVD was on point that game. Yeah, I agree. Lore Knight was a little bit passive in a good way. Like, he wasn't in I, bad spot. I, I think that's their whole thing, because, like, he gets big damage combos, but I think when it comes to killing, it's going to mainly be from MVD. So, like, so, um, okay, it's just going to have to live. Yeah. I'm still confident with the character choices, though. So, Trophy's that Shu, we haven't gotten it at all. It has, like, uh, two main uh, fields of play on the left and right with, like, a hole in the middle. So, it's really good for zoning and camping. So, if you ever need to just, like, go to one side and chill, like, that's fine. Like, you have cooldowns that you need to get back or whatever, just, you can just run away. And there's also platforms that move off screen or off the, the platforms, rather. All right, as we continue to look at this match here, you can listen in and hear well, the way that the red team was talking about the early play. Not only did MVD find himself a triple uh, triple down here in the last match, it was answered right back as well on the start of Lord Knight, who ended up losing that life very quickly off the start. Blue team doing an amazing job, kind of holding that lead, holding position on the right side here of Trophy's Edge 2 to make sure that the red team has to be the one to actually run in. And we see Esam go in with that tether to get some damage, catching him off guard. Um, Amazing tether. Oh, even got the bubble there off of bugs. That's absolutely huge. MVD sitting at 114% right now, very much so within knockout range. And Steven's just throwing out these tethers, trying to get somebody right now. Wonderful play there. And a wonderful follow up by Batman as well. We're just looking for one more ring out right now. And bugs is the hopeful contender. Yeah, Bugs very, very close, but you saw the shield coming in from the passive ability from Steven, allowing him to avoid potentially one hit, and the up air just missed out. It's not going to miss out that time, but answered right back as soon as that happened. Esam was in position to immediately take a rocket to the face after getting the uh, KO, staring that one down, not dodging quick enough. <laughs> that was really funny. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful play there by MVD. They are completely tied up right now. The very next ring out will go ahead and take this specific game. And oh my goodness, as I'm watching LK come up with some of these crazy aerial moves right now, I'm just hoping and praying for this Steven Universe's life. Oh, and that rocket almost taking off the top at 30 damage. You have to be so careful around the strength that is Bugs Bunny. And now they have them separated. So you throw the battering to keep Bugs over there as you continue to attack this Arya. Lord Knight having a very hard time. You saw the shield go high, and now they're going to heal for a second if you leave them alone for too long. Oh, wow. Okay. Steven Universe going into the fire, going into the flame. Has to be very, very careful here. Trying to put a tether on, but it doesn't look like Batman's able to go in fast enough. Dodges the Aria pie, but isn't able to do much after that. And that oh, is going to be an unfortunate my. ring out for Steven Universe, putting MVD and Lord Knight up 3-1 one inside of this specific match crazy and that was incredible recognition from lord knight because the the blade was on the moving platform if you move into that blade at any time it will become attached to you and as soon as it became attached you saw aria instantly teleport over to the steven close it out with the up special off the top and taking it 3-1 to seal the deal here in the pro player showcase Ajax, that play, absolutely astounding, incredibly hype. And honestly, I'm not going to lie to you, I may have missed a few really awesome moments, but I think we have an instant replay. Can you go over just some of the cruxes of that amazing set? 
Absolutely. Let's go ahead and take a look back at what happened here between these two teams. A big primary thing that happened was that huge rocket finding those ring outs left and right. You see it off the top, you see it off the left, and then you see this knockout here on the right hand side as well from MVD catching light going above the stage and it happened twice using the safe as a projectile because if you hit the safe after it's grounded with one of those side airs or a move in general, it can knock it away. But that move right there catching Steven as the tether comes through and then using the tether to find a ring out himself between the two teams is such a good tool. Now here in this game, you see as ASAM tried to jump over the top of the rocket to get away from it, to get away from the pressure. It not only caught light at the bottom for throwing a batarang, but it caught ESAM for jumping too. And speaking of catching ESAM jumping, right after he tried to jump away from that one, the rocket went directly underneath the stage and then catches another one off the top. MVD the MVP, it's mostly been the rocket so far as well. here on this final game you see a lot of pressure coming in from red team they had such good team synergy including Whoa, this moment right what here happened there? as you see as bugs jumps up towards steven you could use the knife to teleport to that target as well so even if that bat missed lord knight was already ready to go and catching that hit right there from the knife as well perfectly executed team synergy and that was in fact the final ring out of the set in an incredible one at that now i know you said mvd mvp or mvb most valuable bunny inside that set but i'm really interested in what the players felt throughout the entirety of this set now i think instead of maybe doing some of these 2v2s we do a 1v1 with you and some of these players very possibly some interviews what do you think about that Absolutely. Let's go ahead and talk to the players and see how they felt about this experience today. All right, everybody, we get to hear from Light himself in a second about how he felt the Multiverse is Pro Player Showcase with. Light, how are you doing today? Uh, I'm doing pretty good. This game was really fun, a lot more fun than I expected at first, and I'm very happy about that. The perks that you picked for this character, what was the reasoning behind why you decided to go in? How did you like the perk setup as a whole on what you did with Batman? Um, I like the perk setups in terms of the cooldown perk setup where uh, I had it stacked with like Esam. So when we stack that with each other, it makes, it makes it very easy for when I lose my Batarang, I can get it back. And Batman's play has just revolved all around Batarang. So I felt very uncomfortable when I didn't have it. So that cooldown was very like, it was very important to me, especially being stacked. Working with him, you had to have really good team synergy. You have to have good communication. Between the characters that you picked, what was the game plan that you had behind the Batman and the Steven? Okay, so the Batman and Steven combo was something I actually really enjoyed for the fact that um, I struggled, to, as Batman, I feel like I struggle to kill unless I have like a clean setup, which is hard to do in doubles. But me and Steven are very good at camping and making like people play our game. So we were really good at keeping people out and going in whenever we wanted to. And when we need a second, I would be able to set up smoke and he'd be able to set up shield and self heals so we could take a minute and just take a breather, you know? And even though we did struggle to kill a little, um, Isim was very good at finding those moments where he could just catch people in the air due to my battering blowing up and just like getting them in the air and their disadvantage and just killing them for that. How excited are you for the release of Win Multiverse? It's finally his for everybody to pick up. Uh, I'm really excited for that. Honestly, I'm being completely honest about this game, it took me by surprise because looking at this game at first, I'm like, oh, this game looks kind of slow. And then I touched it for five seconds and I'm like, I can't keep up. Like people are going really fast and it's like blowing my mind. And I'm like, okay, well, I want to get to that level, you know? And when you see that skill ceiling where you're like, oh, like people are doing something I can't do. It really puts me out there. Like I want to try it. I want to get way better at it. And this game definitely did that for me very quickly. You know? Thank you so much for joining us here on this. I cannot wait to see you more often in this game. We get to get access to it. Thank you for having me. Really, I had a great time playing and I look forward to the future of playing this game. Who knows, you might see me at the top. All right, everybody, we get to talk to the Steven Universe extraordinaire himself, Esam. How are you doing today? I'm feeling pretty good. That was a lot of fun. It was a hard fought battle. And even though me and Light lost, you know, MVD and Lord Knight played great. It was still a ton of fun to be a part of something like this. And talking about 2v2s, this is a very different style of 2v2 that you might be used to. What is it about the differences in this 2v2 that you liked about Multiverses? 
So the thing about the 2v2s in this game that's really interesting is the shared lives. Obviously, that's very different from other games. And uh, it's interesting because a lot of times you can kind of focus on one player and get the weaker player out of the way. And then that takes away from the strong player. That doesn't happen in this game because both players have a shared amount of lives. So when you're playing 2v2 and you want to try to, you know, target someone, it's less effective. So you kind of just have to constantly be switching your targets in a way that makes more sense. Uh, which is really difficult. It's, def it's definitely different, and in my opinion, it is a lot of fun. But at the same time, you can have swingier comebacks, because if you're down three lives to one, or like three ring outs to one ring out, uh, you know, it can feel really hopeless. But in this game, because you can kind of, you know, play a little bit more defensive and realize what's happening and only pick your good spots, um, which I think happened a lot in the uh, final game, well, being somebody who's been able to actually get some access to the gameplay early and get to see what these characters can do, even though it's not all of them, eventually you're going to be able to get to play them all. How excited are you for the Multiverses release? And how excited sh like, should your fans and the people watching this video be from your point of view when it comes to when this game comes out? So honestly, there have been uh, a couple of platform fighters that I've played that I was really excited about that I was kind of let down by. Multiverses is not that. It is. It has been so fun. Like I can tell when I have an itch for a game because I play it and I'm just constantly going, oh, well this strategy would work. Oh, this strategy would work. Okay, this is like, I was really paying attention and figuring out the type of um, like combinations that I want to do. And then like, I'll think about it outside of when I'm playing. I'll just be like, you know, just doing like the dishes or cooking or something and I'm like, Hmm, I wonder if I can do this, 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 and as this combo, how can I avoid that? And like, I was just thinking about it so often. Um, and that's a good sign. I really like the movement of this game. I think that it is really, um, it's like really delicately balanced because I feel like the movement is like just good enough and the combos are just good enough without being like overwhelmingly good and like broken. Uh, I feel like there's a lot of little lines that you have to tick that are really make or break for a game like it has to be like kind of technical but not incredibly technical for a player base it has to you know have early kills but not ridiculously early kills it has to be a little bit passive for the defensive players but not too passive where it's boring and i feel like every single one of those marks right now at least it hits well, I'm glad to hear it. I'm very glad to hear that you're super excited about the game's release and your viewpoints of how the game plays out. I cannot wait to see you play more of this ESAM in the future. And best of luck when the game does come out and finding your way back at the top. I, I hope I do. It's really fun. I'm looking forward to it. We're going to go ahead and hear from Lord Knight. How are you feeling today? Doing pretty good. The game was really fun. I'm glad I got to play MVD. Now, very unique in that support aspect is also the uniqueness of the 2v2 format that we have here in Multiverses. What is your initial impression on the 2v2 here in Multiverses? So the main thing about the 2v2 in Multiverses is that you have to really think about the character synergy. So it's not just like what character you're playing with what character, but also the perks you're using. So. Uh, for example, like I was playing with MVD and we ended up using these same perks because the perks can stack on each other and it actually helps Arya out a t like so, so much the stacked version of the perks as opposed to the normal version. So you can create a lot of unique strategies between not just character combinations, but also like what type of perks you want to use. What was it about the bugs and Arya combo that you were trying to succeed with? What was the team synergy you were looking for between those two? So the main thing that I think we did is we focused a lot on making sure that I set up Bugs Bunny for KO. So since she has a move to move set teleport to the opponent, uh, there's a lot of opportunities for Bugs Bunny to either use the rocket or use another attack to set up a KO. And there are times where this can happen really, really early. And I think especially in the last game, um, this really happened because we were behind by a lot, but I got to set up two combos for Bugs Bunny for early KOs. And then at the end, there was another spot where uh, I teleported over to them when they weren't ready to close the game. Thank you very much for joining us here today. I am so looking forward to seeing more of your play in the future. Thank you so much for having me. All right, everybody, it's time to talk to the MVP of the day, MVD himself. How are you feeling about this game, man? 
I love this game. I'm doing pretty well. Today was a very fun day. Uh, you know, like, this, this game is great. Game is great. Day is great. Well, I'm glad to hear it. Now, you did something pretty ridiculous today, and you showed Bugs Bunny's absolute strengths in every regard. What was it that drew you to wanting to play Bugs Bunny in the first place? I mean, ever since I was a kid, like, watching Looney Tunes growing up, like, Bugs Bunny was always a character I really just enjoyed. You know, little snarky remarks and little funny guy, you know, a little kind of like a troll, basically. And I just <laughs> always really enjoyed his aura and just what he's about. And once I got my hands on on Bugs in the game, he just like, it was like magical. Everything that I envisioned Bugs to be like, if he were to fight people or a platform fighter, is exactly what is in this game. And it was just like, I love that first sight for me. Something that allowed you both to be not only great at positioning, but that chaotic behavior you were just alluding to, was the fact that you both used the same three perks on your team. What was this decision making behind the three perks you chose? So I feel like having extra, just like the lowered cooldown just as a whole is really important. But then at the same time, the other two that I used were the triple jump and the aerial acrobat. So for bugs, uh, as you saw, I love to use the bat to hit them upwards. So getting a third jump to be able to knock people out uh, off the top was really important for the team, but for me as an individual. And Lord Knight enjoyed the idea that the uh, aerial control was, if we both had it on, was 25%. So his whole thing was a lot of the times he felt he couldn't land. So having a 25% aerial increase of like control to him felt like it was a lot easier for him to get back to the stage. What was it exactly that you feel like you and Lord Knight did that was better than the other team this time around and allowed you to actually get the victory? Uh, I think, I mean, I don't know personally how the other team communicated, but I know Lord Knight and I, man, we were having full-blown conversations. Like every single thought we had, we displayed it uh, verbally to each other. So we were always on the same page. And if he needed help, I had his back. If I needed help, he had my back. Uh, if he started getting someone with a combo, he would just yell alley-oop because Bugs Bunny plays basketball. So I would go up there and <laughs> slam dunk to end, I love the, uh, to end the lives there. So our communication was extremely important. I think that's one of the most important things that is going to happen as this game goes on is you need that communication from both players. Otherwise, as you get higher up in the ranks, it's going to be a lot more difficult to succeed. And that's going to allow people to get that much closer and learn that much more about the game. And you've pretty much kind of answered this in almost every time you've talked about bugs, but we want to hear it. <laughs> How excited are you for the release of Multiverses and for the fans who are eagerly waiting to play the game? What do you have to say to them? I absolutely cannot wait for this game to come out. Like, I, I just want it to be out now. Like, I, I've been super excited for this game the second it got announced. Like, it just, it's the style of game of, like, platform fighter that I enjoy. Uh, the IPs are incredible. Like, the amount of characters we can still add to this game is ridiculous. Uh, and I know a lot of people that are excited for it, and I would just tell the people that it's gonna be worth the wait. The game is extremely fun. Uh, there's a lot of personality in the game, and everyone feels like they have their own like heart and soul. Like A lot of time was really put into mm -hmm. making these characters feel so alive, and just like be the, the perfect the perfect representation of like who we grew up with and what we enjoyed watching through our entire lives and i think the amount of expression you can do in game uh because the characters talk a lot and do a lot of say a lot of things uh i feel like that's a reflection of who you are as a person and a lot of people are going to really enjoy this game i i hope they do i know they will though you know well, I'm extremely happy to hear that you're so excited about the release of multiverses which will be coming out soon it is been an absolute joy to see the Bugs Bunny play that you had today. I cannot wait to see more of your play in the future. Thank you so much for being a part of this today. I mean, I can't thank the team enough for letting me be here, wanting me to be here, and I look forward so much to playing this game some more and seeing everyone really get their hands on it and enjoy it as much as I have. So, thanks again. 
And that concludes our presentation of the Multi vs. Pro Player Showcase. Thank you so much for watching, and remember, Multi vs. will be released later this year, free to play on Xbox, PlayStation, and PC platforms, included with cross-play support and cross-progression. Also, make sure you check out multiverses.com to sign up and participate with a chance for the play in future play tests, and also keep up to date with all the official Multiverses social channels to sign up and get access to the latest news and announcements. Take care and see you next time.